Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to give you a complete beginner's guide to the Productive Bees Minecraft mod. Essentially what this mod does is it allows you to breed bees which can then give you different resources, even up to diamonds and more. So let's get right into the basics and I'll show you everything you need to know. Okay, so the first one we're going to want to do is find ourselves a bee nest that has the honey inside. And from there, we're going to put a campfire underneath it and use our shears. We're going to right click it. And if there's the little honey icon, so it'll be gold and sort of yellow here, then the honeycomb should pop out of it. And you want to be able to collect that to make yourself a beehive, an advanced one. And to go ahead and make the advanced oak beehive, you're going to need oak planks, two honeycomb, a beehive, some kind of campfire, actually another oak planks, and then some shears. Once we've got that, we're going to place it down and we're going to right click on it to open it. Now the difference with this is that you'll be able to see how many bees are inside the hive. We'll also be able to see how many honeycombs are in there and there'll be a section here to bottle up the honey. Now you can also go ahead and get yourself an oak expansion box and when you place that on top of the hive it allows you to put five bees inside instead of the normal three. The next thing I'd recommend getting yourself is a bee cage and that's because you can go over to bees of it, you can right click on them and if they're not in a block you can pick them up and they're inside of this cage now and that will allow you to transfer them very easily so I can go over to the cage that I've just built and I can put them inside like that. And if you go up to the bee cage or the beehive with the bee cage and you right click on it, it's going to set the bees uh, house as that so I can go ahead and do this and this is going to be the bees house from now on. So now that we know the basics the next thing we need to do is figure out what resource we want our bees to be able to make for us and you may have noticed walking around the map that there are beehives hidden in things so you might find them disguised in a tree so next time you're walking around look for that and I'll tell you why. If you go into the JEI uh, GUI you'll be able to see all the different types you can get so you've got stone, Gravel, snow, there's so many here, so take a look at them. This will also tell you the crafting recipes for each of these, which will allow you to craft them. Each different nest has the potential to spawn its own type of bee, but it has to have its conditions met. Now the way you can do that is if you go into here, you can click on here, there's a little eye here, and it will tell you bees native to desert biomes are attracted to this nest. So basically, you have to put in a desert biome. So whatever it says, you have to go and do that. Now once you've gone ahead and put it in the right location, you can right click on it with honey treats and basically this will allow a bee to spawn. So I'm just going to spam click it and it's going to make the time go down until one spawns out of it. And there we go. The bee has now spawned out of this. So now this is where the magic happens. Once one of the bees comes out of the beehive here, what we can do is we can grab it inside of a bee cage like we spoke about earlier, and we can move it into one of our advanced beehives and that will allow us to start breeding. So simply go up to the beehive, shift right click, and it's gonna spawn in and that is now going to be its house. Now that we've assigned this bee into this hive, it's going to start producing its resource. In this case, it's going to be oak, and it's also going to produce honey at the same time. Now, it's going to produce the resource in the form of a comb. So, it's going to produce a honeycomb with oak. Now, once we've got the honeycomb, we can go over to a centrifuge. We can make one of those, and we can put the honeycomb in here, and it's basically going to turn that into the resource. So, I've just put a blazing comb in there, and it's now going to turn into its resource. And boom, we've got ourselves some wax there. Now bear in mind for each honeycomb that you get or each comb that you get, it's going to have a different chance of producing the resource that you want. You can go into the uh, JUI here, find the thing that you want to make, press U on it, go to centrifuge, and it's going to tell you the percent chance. So this has got a 30% chance of giving you one to two prosperity shards for every prosperity comb. So it's good to know. So now you're probably wondering how to get a specific type of bee. And the best way to do this is go into your JEI menu and take a look at all the different bees here and find the one you want. So let's say we want to get some coal, we can click on the coal bee and it's going to tell us what the breeding recipe is for getting a coal bee. Alternatively, if you go into a different type of bee that can be found, you should click on it and it will tell you the location. So to acquire this bee, look up the crafting recipe for its spawn egg. So go ahead and do that and it will tell you how to get it wildly. 
So how do you go about getting specific type of bees you have to breed them? Well, what you want to do is you want to bring the two types of bees into some kind of enclosure like this and you want to click on them with flowers you'll see the love hearts and they'll go ahead and breed and then after a second you see, see the type of bee so i've just made a lapis bee there and you can see at the start it's very tiny so be careful not to get it lost now if you go ahead and press on e go to your quest book you're going to see here there's a ton of different quests that you can follow and i recommend doing this so you can get every single different kind of bee so it starts off here teaching you how to make honey treats it shows you the advanced beehives that we've looked at it gives you some of the capturing devices, honeycomb, and then it goes over to making all the different types of resources, all the different types of hives, as well as a different, a couple of different um, upgrades. So you can see here, there's lots of different upgrades here, which do lots of different things. You've got speed and teleportation. So take a look at all of these different upgrades because they will help you along the way. Now, if you want me to make a part two or a more in-depth guide or an advanced guide into productive bees, let me know down below and I will go ahead and do that for you. But that is basically everything you need to know. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that this video helped you out so other people can see the same video and get the same great advice and learn how to use this mod pack.